वेलकम बैक सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डू द पार्ट फाइव विच इज वर्किंग विद डेटा नाउ आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द ऑन गोइंग सीरीज विद ऑनलाइन स्नैक्स ऑर्डरिंग सिस्टम विद एस पी डॉट नेट फाइव रेजर पेजेस विद विजुअल स्टूडियो कोड एंड आई स्ट्रॉन्गली रिकमेंड दैट यू शुड रिविजिट और इफ यू हैव नॉट यू गो थ्रू फर्स्ट फोर पार्ट बिफोर कमिंग टू दिस पार्ट बिकॉज ऑल ऑफ दीज टूटोरियल आर बेस्ड अपॉन वन अनदर इन द प्रीवियस वन so having said that let's switch over to visual studio code now in this first look at working with data you will focus on using the snacks context to retrieve the data for display on the home page and the ordering page which has yet to be added to the application as a reminder the home page should look like this okay so welcome to snacks snackomania this is the featured image you can get the featured image which is actually rotated at random which is actually you know, if you click on the snackomania or refresh the page this will uh, come out of these six choices okay either you refresh or click on the snackomania link it, it will get a new featured image every time and also all of the products are displayed together with their description these are the product and description product and description with the price image and price with one of the products selected randomly to appear as i just to said a small amount amount of preparation is required to manage the display of the data so we'll begin by adding the code to the existing site.css file in the www.css so this is my site.css file under the css folder within the www root where it has got all the static you know javascript css and images so i'll just paste it control v and then save it so you can see that you know these are the uh, css classes dot step number current step number order page list etc and these are the um, these are the ids okay element id order process this is element id order process for list item this is the color display font size etc etc so little bit of um, presentation work we have to do okay now we shall we shall open the pages slash index.cshtml.cs file so this is the pages folder so index.cshtml.cs file which is open earlier so i'll have to paste the following code using system system.collections.generic these names spaces are all valid and using a little bit more snacks.data and snacks.model model so using snacks dot models snacks dot data okay these two names we have to use and click on control s to save the file okay now a little bit more changes so this index model is deriving from the page model class and private read only i logger this i will not be doing any logging for this project at least so i'll get rid of that and then we have it i will i have already copied from my in my clipboard so at the class level i will just copy this existing code default code and this play paste my clipboard code okay so to get a little bit above indent a little bit and to list async okay doesn't contain definition async task okay so what i oh, didn't do earlier was a using statement for using microsoft dot entity framework core so using microsoft dot entity framework core which we have already installed this package nuget package and semicolon and then control s to save this file and now it's all hunky dory it's fine now okay so now this you can see on get async this is the page handler method now i have changed it so that the products which is now uh, what's product it's a list of product okay so list of product is awaited on db which is the snacks context snacks context 
basically the database dot products dot to list async so asynchronously list the products all the products and feature product is a single product which is the products the list of products dot element at it returns the element at a specified index in a sequence and what is that element that in the sequence is about a random new random function dot the next the next is the next um, non negative random integer that is less than the specified index and next is um, the next in the line within the products count okay if there are six products it will go from one product to the other but at random okay so you cannot predict in advance what product will be featured now this is the page model file the page model acts as a combined page controller and view model so as a controller its role this is the page handler method on get async okay so as a controller its role is to process the information from a request and request and prepare a model for the view the view model there is one to one mapping between page models and content pages the view page which is the cshtml page okay so the page model itself is the view model let's see it has got one issue it is oh you can see that there is an extra bracket closing bracket so save it now it's gone that uh, red dot and just indent it so all the bases are starting bases are closing having uh, closing matches so it's all fine now information from the request is processed with the handler method that is this again on get async this page model has one handler me method on get async which is executed by conversion as a result of the http requests made with the get verb the page model has a private field named db which is the snacks context type it also has a constructor method that is this there's a constructor method index model there's a constructor method that takes a snacks context object as a parameter the parameters value is provided by the dependency injection system okay this pattern is known as construction injection the parameter is assigned to the private field within the construction using an expression body this is the, called expression body now page model class as i have already explained these two things products and featured product now it's time to produce the ui now we shall replace the code in the index content page that is pages index dot uh, this is index dot cshtml okay now we will change this page to be overwritten by the clipboard code and then save it control s okay this is the now changed a new look index view index dot cshtml page okay and then this is the model directive it at the top of the page specifies the type of the pages model which is the index model you work with page model throughout the contents model property through the this contents model property now top section of this html this is the html part it shows the feature product the bottom section loops through the this is the bottom section which loops through all of the products and displays their thumbnail image okay this is the thumbnail image which is where it comes from this is the products okay and uh, thumbnails okay these are the thumbnail images so it comes from the thumbnail images okay each product includes a hyperlink now all of these products include a hyperlink okay image fluid image thumbnail this is the hyperlink it it, it has and style like a button which is using the bootstrap styling that's a class okay and although this um, hyperlink doesn't take you anywhere the hyperlink is generated by an anchor tag, help, tag helper which is asp root okay so like here asp root id equals at product dot id okay. So it is identifying it with the id of the product okay and in title it will say order at product dot name whichever product it is okay 
Now this ASP root attribute is used for passing data as a root value to the target page. You see how this works when you add the order page which is the next step. Now we can at the moment execute the application by .NET run. So accordingly we will issue a .NET run command again and then now it is listening on these ports uh, HTTPS local first port and let us uh, control and click the link and this will take us to this one okay you can test the application you can click on admin key okay you can uh, okay you can order it now it will not take anywhere because that order page is not ready still Now this application is still running so we will break it by control C to break this application and give it a new command the dot net new page new page name and now we had a this command is already there uh, now this is instead of about this will be named as order page right we are looking into building an order page so name order namespace snacks dot pages and output page only we have changed the name from the about us or about page to the order page and now it is page click on enter it will create the page okay the result page is created successfully now where to find this where to find this find you can find this is in the pages directory again so pages shared about order page okay so order.cshtml and order.cshtml.cs page now i have opened the newly created order.cshtml.cs page and i have let me copy over everything and paste my clipboard code once again so that saves again a lot of time typing 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 even if i know the things and explain so this is the order model page it is again deriving from the page model class and there is no error so it, it should should build properly it should build also and what this is i think self explanatory you are declaring a snacks private type snacks containment field which is db and this is the order model this is the um, again the constructor method it gets a dependency injection through dependency injection it gets passed a snacks context object and we have got bind property supports get equal to so this is by default actually this is a post method but it it supports get in this case now this id property is decorated with the bind property attribute this attribute ensures that the property is included in the model binding process that is the bind property okay it will read it will be clear an attribute that can specify a model name or type of this for to use for binding the associated property okay now this results in the values passed as part of the http request being mapped to page model properties and handler method parameters by default model binding only works for values passed in a post request but this is we want it to support the get request the order page is reached by clicking a link on the home page which results in a get request you must add supports get equals true to opt in for model binding on get request okay and also this find async method this find async method takes a value representing the primary id primary key of the entity to be returned in this case the parameter passed is another public property id but where does it get its value from so this id property is getting from the bind property attribute which i have just explained now if you recall the anchor tag helpers on the home page that link to the order page include an asp root id attribute representing a route value named id the route values are passed as part of the url if the receiving page has a matching route parameter defined the value is passed as a segment of the url for example order slash 3 otherwise it is passed as a query string value say for example order question mark id equals 3 either way the incoming value will be bound to the id property now next we will amend the order.cshtml file so which is order.cshtml file 
So again, I copy over the existing code. I'm not That's interested. fine. So that add page directive makes it a razor page, at, and it also includes the this id colon int. This is a route template. This is where you define a route parameters for the page. Okay. This template defines a parameter named id. Okay which will result in the anchor tag helpers in the home page generating URLs with the ID value as a segment. So we have also added this constraint that ID has to be integer. Basically, this means that the order page cannot be reached unless an integral value of the ID root is provided. Let's now run the application and click one of the buttons on the home page. The order page is displayed. So again, issue this command dot net run. So it has succeeded. Now let's click on this link. So now when we browse to the link localhost 5001 slash order slash two, this comes up with this, you know, nice uh, styled choose. First step is choose item. Now we are in the second step, details and submit and third is receipt, which will be in the next two lectures. Okay, now if you click, uh, if you click on refresh again, order this lamb chole then it will place your order colon lamb chole so we are able to uh, work with the data and this uh, in this lecture we have covered a lot we have covered how the um, you know this uh, initial content page is added and even before that the page model is added and um what else we have done we have seen the page model we have seen the how the featured model product comes and we have given a content page to the index we have changed the index page to see the featured product and featured product description we have seen a for each look how it iterates through all of these items okay and then we have created the order page when you click order now, it has come to a stage that we have come to the second part of it where you can, you are able to start writing a form and place your order.